Phoebe. Well, my name is Barbara, and I'm a survivor. One could say Barbara Webb's entire life is a story of survival. When Barbara was 10, her father built a roadside store in the Angeles National Forest. He called it Singing Springs after the property's crystal clear streams. And by age 12, Barbara went to work. The only criteria that my father had was, did I know how to make change correctly? Which I did. So I had the job of pumping gas and selling food at the little store. Barbara later married her high school sweetheart and became a teacher. Meanwhile, Singing Springs endured two floods and fell into physical disrepair and financial trouble. Soon after her husband's death in a highway accident in 2000, Barbara found a way to save Singing Springs. She's an amazing person. She was the one who thought to make this into a movie ranch. It's a brilliant idea, really. So when these filmmakers came and they paid $400 a day rent for 10 days, it was enough to pay the back taxes. It, it really changed our lives. It made it possible to keep Singing Springs. Barbara began managing Singing Springs as a movie set, and business was booming until this August station fire swept through the ranch, scorching the hills and burning the cabins to the ground. That every single building, 11 structures are absolutely ash. We just walked around stunned. Tonight, I'm standing here outside of Barbara Webb's burned cabin here at Singing Springs Ranch. But despite all the remnants and the ruins, Barbara and her sister Andrea will tell you that Singing Springs will have a new beginning. What does she do? She gets on the phone and she sells it to three different movies. We've got the set for your apocalyptic movie. And they see the pictures, they say, oh, you're so right. Although the fires reduced her cabins to rubble and turned rustic beauty into, well, rust, Barbara continues to do what makes her happy. Being a grandma, mostly, and making films, and tangoing, and period dancing. I've had a good life. And in the forest she loves, the springs are moving on too. You don't have to listen very hard to hear them singing. Marie Yellow, Annenberg News.